In this video, we'll be discussing how to convert from Tor to atmospheres. Now, this question asks us if we were experiencing 834 Tor, how much would that pressure be in atmospheres? So we need to know how many Tor are in one atmosphere. So we can see that one atmosphere is equal to 760 Tor. Now we can represent this as two different fractions as well. We can say that for every 760 Tor, we have one atmosphere. Or we could say that for every one atmosphere, we have 760 Tor. Both are equivalent, but can help us in different ways. Now, which equation we want to use depends on our question. Now it's asking us to convert from Tor to atmospheres. So since we want to find atmospheres, we want to use this one on the right because atmospheres is on top and Tor is on the bottom. Now let's proceed with the question. So we begin with our 834 Tor. And now we use our fraction by saying for every one atmosphere, we have 760 Tor. Now to solve this, we need to multiply our top numbers and units together to create one number, and our bottom numbers will all be multiplied together to create one number as well. So 834 times 1 is still just 834. Now this was Tor and this was Atmospheres, so I will place Tor times Atmospheres. On the bottom, all I have is 760 Tor. Now since I have Tor in the top and Tor in the bottom, these units will cancel out, leaving me only with atmospheres, which is what the question wanted me to find. So if I take 834 and divide that by 760, this is going to be equal to 1.10 atmospheres. And that is how you calculate how many Tor are in an atmosphere.